today's news! Glam shot of the heavy infantry Mandalorian. This figure looks amazing. Yoda in his force spirit is turning up at Walmart along with that brilliant Jedi. A prototype of rocket firing Boba Fett set a new world record for an auction. Pre-orders for Jedi Revan is available in this country. A very sneaky leak at some Black Series images that come from the boxes that were done by the designer. We'll talk more about that. And we talk about the brand new Vintage Collection exclusive, the Sith Trip with the Armory Pack. It's been shipped already. Awesome stuff. As well, we unbox this bad boy. Humongous, all the way from New Zealand. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television toy showcase channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me once again. First bit of news I'm going to talk about is that Sith Trooper. Wow, the Sith Trooper in the vintage collection. It is being shipped out to all of you guys. Check this out. The first one I found, Aussie Boy, Goodies Toys. Fantastic. Got that shipped in. Lovely, lovely. Every nice and clean, minty, fresh, beautiful looking action figure. Well done, my friend. The next one up is Crimson Dawn Collectibles. As you can see, ship the three of them in. The Sith, the Sith Jet Trooper, and the Sith with the Armory Pack. And as you can see, on the back, oh, up close there, very, very nice. On the back, 162. Hey! Hey! But not all's good because Amazon do ship out the individual vintage collection sometimes in a envelope. This happens. This comes from Victoria, from Victoria's Cantina. Very frustrating indeed. Put it in a box, in a box that fits as well. That is just disappointing. Having said that, as you know, Amazon, link in the description down below, you can buy that figure. Buy a couple of them, because that way, you know, a few, not just that figure, you can buy a few of them and then they box them all together when, when they're bigger. They box them all together three, four in a box, they'll travel nicely indeed. Moving on. Last time we spoke, there was a loose image of an in-hand shot, check this out again, of this heavy infantry Mandalorian. It looked pretty cool and I said, it, I didn't know much about it at the time, what's going to happen with it. There is the inbox shot um, from sources. They are reporting this figure is on the way very, very soon because uh, Yakface.com reports it's already in the US, it's already been put into ports, you know, shipped to the United States. Therefore, once it's there, it shouldn't take too long to hit stores. Is this one going to be a deluxe figure? This, my friends, is the first deluxe figure. If you don't have this figure, you will notice on the side of it, it has a D1, deluxe number one. Uh, there was rumored to be a Zeb as, from Rebels, as D2. Now. Zeb, we have not heard anything about this yet, but we'll talk more about that later. Um, the Mandalorian, a heavy infantry Mandalorian, is the big chunky box size just like this. You saw the picture. That could be D2. It could still be D3, but I believe it will be a deluxe figure. They'll be fan channel exclusive more than likely because a lot of the times these aren't easy to get. Although this was sold in Australia at Zing Pop Culture stores wonder where this one's going to be sold at. So, excellent stuff. I like this figure. I have seen an image where you've seen a sketch of Jon Favreau wearing the outfit. Don't know if he's under the helmet, but yeah, we'll see. Looks like a damn good figure. Nice and blue and chunky and well, excellent. And speaking of The Mandalorian, the first episode has gone to air for you guys in the US. Of course, Disney Plus has already shown that first episode. You guys were on it quick. I mean, as soon as the... the it was available at like midnight, you guys, boom, watched it immediately. And oh my goodness, it was very hard to avoid spoilers as you scroll through social media and like trying not to look. Oh my goodness. Um, for all of us here, November 19, Australia, New Zealand, Puerto Rico. Excellent, we will get it. Then, on the 31st of March 2020, the UK, France, Italy, Germany, Ireland. You guys will be able to watch it as well. <laughs> it's 
some of you already have. Hmm, VPNs? Anyway, um, from all indications, the show is fantastic. Next, I want to talk about a couple of figures that have been, oh, we obviously know about, the Force Spirit Ghost Yoda, the excellent one. It's in the blue stripe box, just like Obi-Wan to the lovely, ooh, he's a ghost. And this figure is available at Walmart's. His little video I want to show from I Collect Figs. Check this out. So look what I found, and they have an abundance of these Walmart exclusive Black Series figures. So many. I'm definitely going to grab this, and I'm going to pick up a Luke with a nice looking face sculpt. But they also have the Blu-ray sets, the Chrome Funkos, Got some posters. It's a double sided display. Got the Ceremony Luke vintage collection and all the chrome sets. He has the entire display. There's all those pallets that they bring in, and he went around and checked all the stuff that's out. Awesome stuff for you guys. Next up, we want to talk about the Boba Fett rocket firing with the J-hook. The, that's the the prototype that was like rare as. It was never sold. It had a few prototypes. This one came up for auction recently by, I want to say Hakes, H-A-K-E-X, auctions. It sold for a world record $185,850. I believe that is in US dollars. On November the 7th. Wow, and Star Wars collectibles are dead, are they? No, they're not. They are thriving. That is a very prized piece, a holy grail, if you will, for people who love Boba Fett. The Mandalorian's only going to feed that fuel of love for Mandalorians. It's just going to be someone else will want to buy this in 10 years' time for double that price, believe it or not. Unbelievable. I want to thank the guys over at Boba Fett Fan Club on Twitter. They tipped me off on this. Thank you guys so much. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Next up, Zing Pop Culture in Australia already has pre-orders up for the Jedi Knight Revan fantastic figure and also the Heavy Battle Droid. Those guys will be available in March of 2020. Awesome stuff if you live in Australia and go and drop a pre-order. But I believe my affiliate Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles will be getting those in. Next, I want to talk about that image that... Well, it's a series of images which is compile, compiled into one. As you know, on each of the Black Series figures, we have an image here. This is drawn, created, however it's done, with a computer on hand, whatever, by Gregory Titus. He's the artist who does all these. His website put up the pictures for upcoming figures that we've rumoured on this channel. And other fan sites have done exactly the same, rumoured all the figures. And some of them are yes, some of them are no. Well, anyway, he put the pictures up and Yakface took them from his website and put them on his own website and shared them, credited him, did all the right things, and the guy asked to take it down and then blocked him on Twitter and was a real douche about it. And Jason didn't do anything wrong. Jason is one of the great guys of our community. We love him very, very much. Don't know why this happened. Um, from saying that, the pictures have been wiped off the internet more or less completely. The, the other sites that also shared them and retweeted them and credited everybody, they're gone. Um, but I will show you the ones that we know about already. So we know about Jedi Knight Revan. There's his image there. Very good. And also the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. There's his image as well. The other images that were available to look at, I'm not going to show because I don't want to get into any trouble either. I will hold on to them at a later date. I will drop them and you can all see. But rumoured on the list are Zeb from Rebels, who we talked about earlier. Could be number D2. Ooh, doesn't mean the figures are going to be made. It just means the artwork's available. The Jar Jar Binks, we've talked about him being available soon. Ooh. Commander Bly, we've rumoured him as well. Ooh. And Luke Crate Skywalker. Ooh, 
that last one's going to be another Luke to add to the collection of Lukes that we already got. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Not everyone's a Luke fan, but yes, there's a lot of Lukes out there. The other one is a Stormtrooper that I believe is from the video game Jedi Fallen Order. Just, I don't know much about this one. Have seen the image, don't know what to make of it. So, let's move on from there. We have some rumours, let's leave it at that. Moving on. Now it is time to unbox this bad boy. This is enormous. Let me just see if I can cover up an address or something on here. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that! You're your mic! That's me! Thank you, Greg, once again. He has sent over some fantastic things. He's becoming the king of fan mail. Thank you so much. I have no idea what's in this box, but... I was told it was on the way, and here it is. This... Look at this! Always well packed. Greg is a collector. Put them down there. <laughs> I see Black Series! Oh! Oh! I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello, Kylo. Number 45. Awesome. I actually don't have the Kylo in number 90, I think he is, for the new one. Unmask Kylo. Brilliant. What we got here? Ha! Praetorian Guard. Brilliant. Look at them numbers. Well, we can put them like that so we can all see the numbers. Number 51. Finn, First Order Disguise. Kick ass. I love that weapon that comes with it. You can buy that in full scale size as well. 51. Awesome. Who we got here? Captain Poe Dameron. Number 53. This line here, I think this is number, I want to say number 16 or 17. Wave 16 or 17. It's around that time. Oh! Number 35. Go on way back. Trooper. That's the classic original Trooper. There is an Elite Trooper going around, which is an exclusive to Target. Number 38. I want to have a look first. Oh, yeah. Imperial Royal Guard. Brilliant. Next up, number 22. Going way back. Wow. Jin Urso. Awesome. Rogue One is going to be a classic someday. It's it's one of those films that the everyone has sort of appreciated in a way. It's 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 loved by all the fans in the Disney sequel era. Oh yes, the AT AT driver. Number thirty one. <laughs> that is a cool figure. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Greg. This is. Wow. God damn it, gave me eight figures. Eight figures. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much. I'm going to have to get a bigger hutch to put all my black series with all the numbers I'm looking at you. Chris, I told you this before, it's kind of like in, in chronology, you're pulling out volumes to look at, you know, oh, check this one, oh, yeah, you know, that's how it looks on the shelf. I love that. I know people think, why you got to take them out of the boxes? No, I love them how they are, just like this. Excellent. Thank you so much, Greg. I appreciate it so very, very much. That's it today. My name's Usual Mike. As I said, Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, TV and movies. Check them out today. Link in the description down below. And on a side note, for those of you who have asked me, where do you get your cases? Where do you where do you get the cases? Okay, Aussie Software Collectibles does have some available now. Only $5.50 a piece, so awesome. Check them out. If you want to buy some merch, chuck out my shirts. All of my shirts are available in my Red Bubble store. Buying from the Red Bubble store helps out the channel, so thank you very much. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketelevision. And if you'd like to send some fan mail, it's up here at PO Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales, 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.